Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching, I'm right here on my kitchen and I already have my DS923 Plus here with me and we're going to do an upgrade everything video where we upgrade every component that's upgradable on this device, we are talking NVMe, we are talking 10 GBE network card and we are talking RAM, we are going to go as high as 32 gigs of RAM, ECC. Now, the entire process, as you will see, is very simple. Anyone can do it. There are two major, let's say, caveats that I would like to share with you. First is, before you start the process, make sure your device boots up normally. If you just taken the device out of the box, plug it to power, plug it to network, make sure it boots, and then start the process. The second thing, if you're going to go with non-Synology RAM modules, you will be voiding your warranty. Just know that Synology RAM modules are a bit on the pricier side, but you can use non-Synology modules, modules. Just know that you will be voiding your warranty. So without any further ado, let me jump over to my overhead cam and let's start the process. All right, guys, so we have our device right here. And just to get started, I'm going to flip the device over because I do want to start off with a 10 gig network card and we do need to remove the two screws holding the, the, uh, the cover in place. Just use a regular Phillips head screwdriver. Here are the screws. So let's just open them. and the cover comes right off. You do need the screws, so don't lose them. And let's get the network card out of the box. Here it is, it only goes in one way, so you cannot get this wrong. Just slide it in. And now let's screw back the two screws we have removed from the cover. And that's it with the network card. For the rest of the process, we won't even need any tools. So the next thing I would like to do is to install an NVMe drive. And as you can see, there are two slots on the back of the device. This is not anything new. So all you have to do with a fingernail or something, just remove the cover using the lever, place it aside, and let's grab our NVMe drive. I'm using the Synology provided NVMe drive because I do want to use it later on as an NVMe volume, but if you're just using your devices, your NVMe drives for caching, you can use any brand. So get the drive ready in your hand. And again, there's a little notch you can see right here and then it will only go in one way so identify the notch in the bay and align them in this case I will need to flip the drive over and just slide it in again it will only go in one way and all you have to do next is push it down and with your other finger pull back on this locking mechanism right here and the device will lock itself in place take the cover and close it back if you have another NVMe drive it will be done in this drive bay exactly the same way for the next part we are going to install our 32 gigs of RAM for this process I advise you remove all the drive bays just to give you a better working space because the slots are located on the side of the NAS. I'm going to try to film the base. They're actually right here. Here are the RAM slots. So as you can see, there's two of them. So we'll use two 16 gigs modules. 
So let me try to do it on cam as best as I can. I'm going to tilt the device on its side so it will be better filmed. And again, there's a little notch on the RAM modules, not exactly in the middle, but close, so they will only go in one way. So again, align the, the notch with the slot, push the device in, it's, it will be in a, little, in a 45 degree angle, sort of. It will look something like that. And then with a tight push of the finger, it will lock into place. Again, let's do it with our second module. Again, align the notch with the notch of the device. And that's it. We have installed 32 gigs of RAM. All we have to do right now is to reinstall the drive base. And all we have to do right now is to plug the device back into power, back into network, boot it up, give it a few minutes to boot up, and then we'll make sure that everything we have installed on the device indeed shows up in our DSM operating system. All right, guys, so let's go over to the computer and let's see if it worked. All right, guys, so we are done upgrading everything on the physical level. And now I am not signing off this video before I actually log into my device, make sure it boots. And then uh, to make sure everything I have upgraded shows up and doesn't cause any issues. So now let me log in. All right, and now I want to make sure that everything that I've upgraded indeed shows up. So I will head over to the control panel and info center and 32 gigs of RAM shows up. That's great. Next stop, network and network interfaces. Without the network card, you would only have two interfaces show up. There's the 10 gig network card. So that's the second positive step. And the first is our NVMe drive. And sorry, the third step is our NVMe drive. So we'll head into storage manager and let's go to HD, HDD SSD. And I do have my M.2 drive. It, it's not initialized and doesn't have a volume, but it shows up. So that's the third uh, positive sign. All right, guys, so it looks like everything we have upgraded shows up and seems to be working. If you like this video, please give it a like. It looks like maybe a small negligible ge gesture, but it does make a huge difference. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you, everyone, for watching.